Hello everyone, I am Big Chuan from IHG Delft. In this video, we will explore the Vapor API through its documentation. You will learn how post and get requests are created and how to generate an access token from API token. First of all, you will find the Vapor API documentation on the Vapor website. Click on Info, and under the Resources tab, you will find the link to Vapor API documentation. In this web page, you will find the examples of all Vapor API operations. Click on an operation to expand the descriptions and the list of parameters needed to create a request. To see an example of how it works, you can click on Try it out. This operation will return the list of available workspace. For example, here we can set the overview parameter as true to return overview list and page parameter as false to return full list so that we can ignore the size and page parameters. Then we click on Execute. As you can see here, the request URL is created based on the chosen values of parameters. If we open this request URL in another tab, we will find the response body in JSON string format. Similarly here, the JSON string format will be represented in nested structure. We will see the list of all the workspace, including code, caption, and links. For example, this one is the VAPO version 1 and VAPO version 2 workspace code. And now if you want to get the list of data sets in VAPO version 2 workspace, we will use the get cubes list operation. Here we click on try it out. Here we set the w underscore code parameters as the workspace code of VAPO version 2. Similarly, for the overview parameters, we can choose true to get the overview list and page parameter as false to get the full list. Here we can also filter the data set using DAX parameter. For example, if I use L2 comma water, we can get the level 2 water data set. As you can see, here's the link of the request created using the parameters as set. And in the response body, we will find the list of all the level 2 water data sets. Each contains a code, caption, description and links. For example, L2 underscore T underscore A is the data cube code for annual transpiration level 2. To request for a list of raster available, we will use the query request type. This is a post request, so we will have to create a payload in the request body. Here is the list of query types including pixel time series, crop raster, area stats time series, and custom water productivity. The MDA query table type is to use to request for list of available rasters. You can click on see here to get the description and example of query payload. The payload description would give you information on the parameters in the payload, such as name, uh, value type, and the meaning. Below, you can find examples of payloads for specific cases. For example, here is a payload for query on the L1TA, which is level 1 transpiration annual. Give a valve for workspace. 
for example, we can copy this payload and paste it in the request body. However, here I want to request for level 2 transpiration, so I would change the data cube code as L2 underscore T underscore A. And then I can click execute. As you can see here, the query parameters values are not included in the request URL, but in the client URL or CURL. In the response body, we will find the list of requested rasters. For example, here for 2011, the raster ID is L2 underscore T underscore 11. Similarly, for 2012, the raster ID is L2 underscore T underscore 12. Now, if we want to download this raster, we will copy the raster ID and go to Download Operation. This is a GET method. Here we have to provide the workspace code in the W underscore code parameter. In the cube code parameter, we will find L2 underscore T underscore A and paste this raster ID. When click execute, we will see that the, in the response body, there's an error message. And the error message say that it's unauthorized, which means there's needed information of the user account. To authorize this request, we will click on this lock icon. Here it say we have to provide an access token. In order to get a valid access token, we have to use the sign-in operation of the API. As we can see, it's a post request. Now we click on try it out. In this post request, we have to provide user a personal API key. To generate this key, we have to go to the Vapor profile page. So I will go to my Vapor and click on my profile. Here we find the button to generate API token. It is said that this API token is private and should not be shared. You will be shown this token just once. So I will copy it and save it in a safe place. However, if I lost it, I can always click revoke API token to create a new one. Now I will copy this API token here and click Execute. In the response body, I will find the access token values and this will expire in one hour. So I will just copy this access token and here I paste it as a value to authorize. Now I will close it and we will try to execute this request again. As you can see in the client URL, there's the access token in the authorization bearer. And in the response body, the status is now OK. And we will have a download URL which will expire in one hour. This URL can be used to download the raster as requested.